I'm just saying he was sentenced today to 10 years. He was. In prison for shooting Meg the Stallion in the foot in 2020 after leaving a Kylie Jenner party where he allegedly said dance, dance as he shot at her feet. Do you this. think 10 years is reasonable? I, I think... This episode of Rushed Vibes. I am Jessica, Rushed Vibes Rushing, accompanied by David, Rushed Vibes Rushing. Let's vibe. I don't like it. Hmm. I don't know why you why you wouldn't leave well enough alone. Because it was... Cheesy? Yeah. Rush the vibe with our tribe. It's cheesy? Mm-hmm. Thank you for confirming that it was <laughs> no, cheesy. I'm just... I'm, I'm asking. I mean, you feel like it was cheesy. I just want to switch it up. Okay. There's nothing wrong with switching it up. No. You look good. Thanks. I... Nice footies. Look better than I feel. Why? You have a long day? Yes, I'm very tired. And physically, I have not been great today. But you haven't been great physically. Mm-hmm. Why? Because physically, I'm not doing great. No. What happened today? What happened to work? Talk to me. Let's do couples therapy right quick. No. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't want our therapy session. Uh, why is there a lot of dirty laundry to air? There's plenty of dirty laundry to wash, not air. I have another one. What are you drinking? Uh, a probiotic soda mixed with unsweetened cranberry juice mixed with cranberry vodka. Probiotic. <sighs> Tighten your, put your thing down. What's, what's, what's the beauty you know? Every shade. Mm-hmm. Every shade of melatonin, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. We don't care about the mother. <laughs> we don't care about the mother. This is the week the mother of, complexions. of, of mel- melanin. So I'm in here honoring my melanated kinfolk. Yeah. It's, um, you know, the set's coming together <laughs> a little bit. Studios 3.0. It's, uh, it's taking some time. But I think, I think it's home. Mm-hmm. Feels like, feels like home. I got to get these get the paint to get some of these scuff you guys can't see it hopefully but um some paint scuffs that uh cousin lyle's painting caused when we sat it against the wall i'm sure kids rubbed up against it it's not really important um but yeah i like it mm-hmm. it's not bad you know um we've had like unless we've done what four episodes this season kiki boundaries I Maybe mean, it's three. This might be episode four. This is episode four. We've had over like 200 views. Nice. In all four, all three episodes. Yeah, Again, yes. you know, that's small potatoes for, for other podcasts. Look, but it's potatoes. But I'm telling you, last season we only averaged like 20 viewers an episode. And most of those are like mom watching it multiple times over. <laughs> multiple times over. You got to start somewhere. It's nice. So thank you to everybody who's who's supporting. Um, we've got some uh, some interesting uh, new type episodes that I think we're going to do here pretty soon. Uh, one we have to get Franco on. We were supposed to get him on two years ago. Allegedly. Yeah. Well, he can't come here because I mean, not that he can't come. He can come to the house, but he there's really no room so we got to find a good setup but you told me that you told me to have him on this season so okay um beyonce's in town tomorrow yeah she might she might be here now i'm not going 
Uh, you want to know why I'm not? Going? She actually might not. She might actually be here. No, mm-hmm. you think she's here already? You think she flies I would in tomorrow? She would fly in. I don't think she had a show today, so I would think she flew in today. Mm. Maybe catching up on some rest, sightseeing <laughs> in Charlotte. I'm kidding. There's really nothing to sightsee. Um, what? What you gonna say? What? Bank of America Martini Glass mm-hmm. Building. I mean, yeah. The Martini Bank Glass. Of America Stadium. Uh, um, Ramari Beard and Park. But no, I would think that they're here now setting up. Mm. Because, I mean, there's no football game, so they essentially would have access to the stadium the night before. Um, mind you, everyone, I studied sports entertainment event management at Johnson & Wales. So how long ago is this? It doesn't matter. What, just, who I'm, says that? Well, I'm just wondering how much of the industry has changed since you I studied mean, it. in terms of like the structure of setting up an event like if this was during football season they would have a tighter window well i mean again it's tuesday so we are they, recording this on tuesday oh yeah tuesday uh so yeah she she could very well be in town and her crew is setting everything up soundtrack preparation because i think there's anticipation of rain tomorrow so i mean you have to have the operations team figuring out the logistics is she going to continue performing and all of that um hair her hair has to be different if it is going to rain in preparation of rain um she'd probably have to do a curly hairstyle so there are lots of logistics but yeah i would anticipate she's here i would not have expected that much went into (laughs) <laughs> planning how how soon to come to a ven, uh, I mean, but a venue that's, right now. and that's just me being out of the industry and just a small part of it but yeah. i mean you got people who are gonna have to practice and yeah i so i i she probably is in town now um i doubt she she's physically not at the stadium likely but um her crew her you know they're probably setting things up and blue no blue, blue out there pointing blue, blue out there giving no, Blue is at the Ritz Carlton too. Um, you think that's where they stand? The Ritz. I it's like, probably the nicest hotel. I in, think the Ritz in Uptown, is still, right? But the uh, no, I don't think the JC is it the JC. JW. JW. Wrong. Wrong letter. I don't think the JW. It's newest, but I don't think it's at. I wouldn't reckon. You know what? She's probably at the Ballantine Resort. That's where the Obama doubt, stayed. I doubt she's in Uptown. She's likely at the Ballantine Resort. Yeah, I couldn't recommend the JW after we stayed there for anniversary and we found. That wasn't the JW. That was That was the, the JW. No, that was the um It was Marriott. It was a Marriott, but it wasn't the JW. It Bro, was, it was the, JW. the JW was the new one that we went to that oyster bar um in Uptown across from the Mint Museum. The you're thinking of oh, the Oysters. What? Yeah, you're thinking of it's got the pool and the rooftop. I also don't want to say the name and then slander it, but like we had our anniversary there. I mean, to be fair, it was. It was mid. It was mid pandemic. It was, mid, it was mid 2020. Pandemic. There were ants. It's people. I think they had, probably, they had probably just opened back up. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a dead water. Park what is, I don't know what it is about us celebrating <sighs> occasions and there being roaches. Dead oh, roaches. Because right, when we went to St. Lucia, we opened, Lucia. we opened this, we pulled this picture had, frame back because we, we thought no, it was like a secret door. We had no business opening that. And then this roach fell out. It was dead, dead roach. Like the roach fell out like this. And then uh, I just started running. And then, and then we, we realized it's so true what they say about black people. Like, you don't need a reason. If somebody starts David running. David didn't know that it, what it was. You I saw run, it fall. You run and ask questions later. Bed, and then he was right behind me. I like was right on their heels. 2.5 seconds. And I was like, what are you running for? <laughs> Why is that a roach? I went over there. And I think what it was is the picture was covering electric panels. So the bug, like, the bug likely got, got, got a little toasted. Yeah. Uh, um, a little medium well done. That was funny. That was funny time. It, why yeah. can't I remember the name? The word. In- Probably because it's not important. It's not, but yeah. I don't want you saying it's so, the JW because it's not the JW. But yeah, she's likely, she's likely at the Ballantine Resort. We should probably roll up there. Other than see um, how security looks. What was the one I rented for Salison her birthday? The Grand Bohemian. Bohemian, that one's nice. In their like inaugural year. I was so jealous. Like I was, I was actually mad because she got the Grand Bohemian and we got the Roach 
hotel and it was within a month because our anniversary is in october and then her birthday is in november so i was like why is this child and i tried to hint that i wanted him to book the grand bohemian and he he didn't um now this comes out mm -hmm. of course so yeah uh, but yeah, Beyonce will be in town tomorrow. I'm not going to see her. I'm one, not a massive Beyonce fan. I didn't. Are you really, even a mild Beyonce fan? Uh, I I I appreciate. What's her best song out right now? Her best song. Her her top song out right now. Do you even know? Uh, uh, the Cuff It song. Hmm? Or break my soul. That's probably that was like last year. It's the same album. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying right now. Is there a single from the song from the album that she's pushing know. right now? It's "Break My Soul." That was last year. Again, although the same album, the "Tradition Holding True," Kids Bop version is much better. The Kids Bop version hits. Yeah. Um, even the the is it called the Cuff It song? Whatever it's called, the Kids Bop version of that one hits very well. Yeah. Um, no, I, I I didn't really get into the last album. <sighs> Music, I haven't really been as big into music as i was i had a season where i was big on music and now i just don't have the time and apple music doesn't do a good job of like if you play one song playing other songs similar to it to kind of pull you in so it's just too much work navigating music for me so it's just easier to listen to old stuff or npr um so don't or podcast don't speak ill of apple I'm not speaking ill, yeah, but at you're, least you're with they don't do a good job. They, they do what they do. At a least good job. with YouTube music, like I can say, <clears throat> maybe you don't do a good job with your tastes. My tastes are just fine. Are you sure? Actually, you know what? They're probably not. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mm. Yeah. Um, because if you use, it's funny, I got these scratches on my arm. I don't know where they came from. This bother. This bother. What? No, I was just saying. It's, it's, they, you know, when you get scratches and they start to scab, and you feel it. Oh, that is um, low. I got these scratches. I don't know where they wow. came from. It's crazy. What? You really going to put me out there like that? What are you talking about? Oh, that's dirty. No, I'm just saying I got that scratches. That is so dirty. What's dirty? I'm not even... I, I need a moment. What are you talking um, about? YouTube music, when you pl ask it First to play of all, a song... do not... It will play other songs don't that YouTube are music similar to it. In so, the same vein as... But Apple Music, unless I still don't understand the functionalities of Apple Music, when you ask it to play a song, it's just going to play that song. So that's the one thing I, I don't I don't like. So it, And I don't have the opportunity to figure out other things, other songs that are popular. But no, I just didn't get into her album. No offense to her. Um, and I'm sure it's a great album. I've heard songs, but like... If this, if I had gone to the con, if I go to the concert, I would only know her old stuff. And there are even songs from her old stuff that I don't know. Um, you know, I've, um, I follow some people on social media, friends, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, so I've seen some, some highlights, some, some clips. Mm -hmm. of people's. Georgia. Uh, Georgia, uh, um, excuse me, Esquire, as well as, uh, this, um, this woman I went to, uh, I guess we went to high school together. Um, she's a, I think she's a pretty big Beyonce fan. So she went, she may have gone a couple times. I mean, Georgia went twice. Yeah. So, um, but I saw, you know, it looks, looks pretty lit. I also saw on Twitter, there was this chick who went like the day of the concert and somehow got tickets online for like 75 bucks and they weren't bad. Now granted it's Twitter. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. I feel like I saw her on Instagram. But um, yeah, she was like, she met up. Um, no, she said she showed up. She just showed up, opened up her tickets app, whatever app she was using. <laughs> right at like six, seven o'clock local time. Said she got some tickets. Seventy five bucks. It's not bad. That's not bad either. Because certain people in the nosebleeds who paid, who bought yeah. when the tickets opened, was paying like. I mean, it's a gamble. A couple hundred. It's definitely, it's definitely a, gamble, a gamble. But there's always someone who can't make it. But if you're a woman, you could always just like, you know, try to like seduce somebody into to giving you their ticket. Look, security at venues, like legit venues. I'm not talking about like the club or, you know, these backyard venues, but like legit venues, security takes their job really seriously. Yeah. They don't, they're not here to play around. Them Speaking guys in the white polos and khakis or the black pants, yeah. you can try it. Try if you want to. Yeah. Speaking of subpar security, we went to um, Big Three this weekend at uh, Spectrum, Spectrum oh, Center. God. 
uh, my cousins and uh and myself it was pretty cool for like the first couple of games what they do is they have a league i think there's like two two ice teams cubes league, right ice cubes league two teams that won't play are two teams that that don't play but then the rest of the teams they all play in succession so you have like a one o'clock game what's the point of the teams not playing they just have like a bye week or whatever oh okay, yeah okay, yeah okay. um so they're not there they're not there but like everybody travels together it seems Oh. Uh, so you basically have a full slate of basketball from like one to the last game will probably end about like six, seven o'clock. Um, so the games were entertaining for like the first. We got there at the end of the first game because the games aren't timed. You play to like the who, the the point totals determine like what point in the game you're at. Oh. So I think like the first once somebody gets to like 25, it's halftime. Um, and then the first to 50 wins. Oh, so it's cool if like, you know, dudes is hidden, but like there are a couple of games where nobody was hitting shots. So the games were just, it was just, just taking, running. it was just taking forever. Me and, me and my cousin Lamont, I looked over. I thought hey. Lamont didn't go. No, he went. Um, I looked over, he was like deep in his Twitter timeline. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, we have the, we got the game. And then I, I realized that I had my phone out too. I was like, I wasn't well, holding. never mind. So we ended up leaving at the end of the like halfway of the second to last game, last game, I'm not sure. But um, shout out to Ice Cube. It's, um, it's definitely like retired or couldn't quite make it NBA oh, it Players old League. Older, okay. older players, probably like in their 30s. Like your age. <laughs> NBA players in their in their 30s. Seasoned. Who, um, who, you know, aren't in the, aren't in the, the, the league right now. Up. Um, but need to. But they, uh, it was, it was, it was, inter- it was, it was entertaining. It was, and we had pretty good seats too. We were probably like, probably four or five rows back from courtside. Nice. And um, it only makes me yearn more to actually go to a Hornets game and sit courtside. So, probably not like when the Lakers or Warriors come to town because those tickets say, would be. That's like a lifesaver. Those tickets would be buku, but. They're probably sold out already. Maybe like a middle of the road team, like the Mavericks. Spurs. Um, no Spurs. Spurs. Spurs not really middle of the road. They have the number one pick, um, Victor Wembanyama, from France, seven foot four. Parlez-vous. Like one hundred and ten pounds, <laughs> but they gonna put they gonna put some weight on him. They better. Uh, um, he's but not. He's, he's gonna, not literally. I was gonna he's, say he's gonna break. He's probably like two hundred. Because I remember when I was one hundred and ten pounds, and my poor grandma was so concerned about my well being. That's because she's African. Wow, 17 minutes in. Um, you segued with security. Did security do something at the basketball game? No, I was just saying that they weren't that great. Oh, actually, uh, one of our cousins, she, um, I'm not going to put her on blast, but. She is one of your cousins or one of? She's my cousin's cousin, but she's my cousin. You know what they say, a cousin of my cousin is my cousin. No, well, is it? His mom's side, which is your know, it's side, not, it's, or his it's not really, side. It's not really important. It she is because it's not your cousin. No, like, I no remember, it is my cousin because remember, it's my cousin's cousin. No, because I remember one time Georgia posted her cousin, and I was like, I don't know this cousin, and she was like, Yeah, it's on my dad's side, and I was like, the the audacity of you referring to this person as your cousin because so, I'm your only cousin. It's my cousin. It's not. Um, she's she not brought your she brought her purse to the spectrum she's center. not your cousin and you know they they held it they have this little cardboard piece of cardboard so it's like if your purse is bigger than this then you gotta you gotta That's put it you back need to have a baby you can and bring so, anything in and, I, and I just i completely forgot about it and i should have said something because I mean, I've, I've been to the spectrum center you don't have a purse you know but i've been there recently because when alan and i uh the last wrestling event we went to they um they did the same thing to his friend so we had to walk all the way back to his car and put a purse up. So I, just, I didn't even think about it. Because you're not a regular purse toting person. No, I'm not. But I'm also not somebody who likes to walk back to their car after they've already walked to the Spectrum Center. So I should have remembered. But um, so I had to, I volunteered to take her purse back to my car, put it in, and then came back. It was only a couple blocks. So you just out here carrying other bad. women's purses? I was. It was, a, it was a nice bag, too. So she was like, Oh, I hate you got to walk with my bag. But I'm like, I'm going to carry my wife's purse. Like, <laughs> carried my shoes. Like, like shoes. shoes, heels, everything. Like, this ain't nothing. Um, this dude with a switch was eyeing me, though. I don't know what that means. 
He just had a switch. It was it was definitive. Everybody has a switch. Nah. He had a switch. <laughs> there's a switch is and there's a switch. He had a switch. Okay. Um and I you know, we don't wear a wedding rings, so apparently you know, he probably thought I was available. You know, my I mean, locks my locks were flowing. I mean, it's twenty twenty three it's life. If you wear a wedding ring, you can still be available. Um, my locks were flowing. I had the They had, weren't flowing. I had the guns out a little bit. List. No. It was after. Oh, it was Saturday. It was Saturday. Yeah, locks was luscious. Catching in the wind and anything. But anyways. Yeah. So But I don't think you need to say that because you don't wear your ring that makes you available because you could wear your ring and still be available. Well, that's true. But I'm I'm decent, so that's Are you? I'm just coming from that that perspective. Yeah, Allegedly. I, got, I got scratches to prove it. <laughs> David, you know we're gonna get into the we're gonna get into the show. Normally, the banner doesn't take this long for anybody who's stumbling <laughs> upon us because of the title, but a couple of, a little bit of feedback from uh, Rachel and also the crew she said the episodes be too long. They said it's too long. They said we gotta keep it at an hour, uh, but it's hard because like you get and you do the pleasantries and you look up. It's twenty minutes in, and then you got a couple of topics you want to talk about, and you know you ain't got no you ain't got no internal clock, so you just be rambling. So it's hard to keep it out. But YouTube likes longer videos. That's the thing. The algorithm. I I like longer podcasts. Longer, like yeah. when the podcasts that I do listen to, I think when I do listen to them, they're all over an hour. I enjoy like one of my podcasts when she does, when she shortens it and it's like within like 30, 45 minutes. I'm like, why are you stealing my time? Like why? I mean, granted it's a free podcast that I'm listening to, but you calculate commercials and all of that. I'm like, I'm only getting like 28 minutes of podcast. Why? Why would you rob me like that? I like long podcasts. I feel it's, mm. and maybe because I'm accustomed to listening to podcasts on trips, on drives, on mm. plane flights. So it, the longer a podcast is, almost the shorter my destination. That's mm. less that I need to filter through to find more entertainment to get me through whatever mm. means of transportation. So I appreciate an hour plus podcast like i i'm trying to think the longest podcast i've ever listened to i feel like uh higher learning goes pretty long they usually do they especially go, they if they an hour. especially if they have a guest shout out to van and rachel you know one of them you know um side one of my uh i don't really do starstruck right like when, when i went to new york um via cousin mark and when we with Lamont a couple years ago, went to the Batman versus Superman Radio City premiere and all that. You know, saw some celebrities, Diane Lane, um, Zack Snyder, the director. Um, what's his name? Jesse Eisen, Eisenberg, the dude who played Zuckerberg in Social Network. He was there. Nice. Gal Gadot, she was there. Um, obviously, my guy. Ben Affleck. It was cool meeting him. Lamont actually, cool story. Lamont actually FaceTimed his daughter and had Rebecca talk to Ben Affleck on FaceTime. It was it was the coolest thing ever. I don't know that you've ever told me that. Yeah, it was it was awesome. What did Ben Affleck say to Rebecca? He said, uh, Lamont said, hey, Mr. Affleck, would you mind if I FaceTime my daughter? And Ben was like, yeah. Um, he, he hung around that long. Well, I think Lamont had already been, had already been planning to do it. So he FaceTimed and they knew we were at the, the red carpet. So... She picked up and he was like, hey, I got a surprise for you. And then he banned the phone. And then she was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then he was like, hey, I'm Batman. And then he, he was Aww. moving on. But he was like, hey, that was pretty cool. Because, you know, most people, they'd be like, hey, can I get a picture? Blah, blah. Or they, you oh, know, tell, really tell Ben that, hey, man, you're my favorite actor or whatever. And the mom was like, yo, can you say what's up to my daughter? She's a big fan. Aww, so, yeah, it was Lamont, pretty dope. You just got some some extra points there. Yeah, man. Lamont is... um. That's my guy, Mark. Mark too, on occasion, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not getting into it. But you know, I met Ben, and it was like, oh, you know, that's cool. And then even that night, I texted you when I sent you the picture. I met Will Smith, which mm -hmm. obviously is one of my like favorite actors, like mm -hmm. top two favorite actors of all time. Um, but even that was like, eh, you know, that's cool. If I ever met Denzel, I'd probably like 
pass out. But aside from that, I don't know what it is, but I have such an affinity for Van Lathan. As it, his intellect, his delivery, the fact that he's like he's a celebrity. But like he's really. he's he's notable, but he's not like he's like a celebrity. Noble. I mean, he's got an Oscar though. He's a producer. He he's pro- he produced um, Kobe's thing. No, the uh, the thing that we oh, two distant strangers. Yeah, I need a part two. Um, I mean, we all know how I feel about Van. Yeah, so I appreciate um, Van. I just I need him to. So I really I need him to go to an allergist. Yeah, him and um, we're not gonna do this. Uh, him and uh, and obviously Charlemagne and Schultz, who Mark put he me also onto, needs to go to an allergist. Who Mark put me onto. Uh, and I appreciate. It. I know a lot of people don't like Charlemagne, but uh, I really like his his uh, commitment to like he, mental health and promotion you know and all that like and healing. His co-host Schultz. Yes, I don't know what it is. I like Schultz. Schultz. I have is, no clue who Schultz. Schultz is, is hilarious. I have no. You clue should. You should look him up. Like I don't Schultz know him. Alex. Actually, um, oh, we're way off course here. But Schultz actually hacked the YouTube algorithm because he realized that um, I can't remember how he phrased it, but basically like. Like you could record an hour long podcast, right? And you can do that and the algorithm likes it, but you can also cut that podcast up into like multiple five, seven minute segments that are really engaging. And that feeds the algorithm because a lot of people are gonna like it, they're gonna like, they're gonna share it, they're gonna like it, and then that all feeds back up to your main um to your main account. So he started putting a lot of his comedy specials in clips and bits on YouTube. Um and then obviously the uh, the notoriety he got from being cool with Charlemagne as Charlemagne ascended um, kind of helped him too. But you know, Schultz is hilarious. Yeah, he really is. I have no reference of him outside of Brilliant Idiots. Like, I think I know he's been. Oh, he has his own podcast oh, called Flagrant, that. Flagrant too. Oh, that's his podcast. It says. Doesn't Charlemagne go on Flagrant? I mean, as a guest, but. People have guests on their podcast. That's too many podcasts. Like I feel like they're good with brilliant idiots. Well, that's the thing. Like you know, I feel like, like we're kind of more are you talking about on flagrant well, that you're not already talking about on brilliant idiots. Well, their their audiences are comparable, but Schultz has his thing and Charlemagne has the Breakfast Club. Obviously, that's not his own thing, but mm-hmm. and then they have their brilliant idiots together. But it's so kind of it's kind of cool, especially like with the the strikes happening. This kind of new, I don't know if it's new, but this kind of, this kind of different age we're moving into with like media and content, like where we're used to, like when I was growing up, you know, an actor had a TV show or they were in a, you know, a number of movies. You got people like Van Lathan, who's on a number of podcasts, Mm -hmm. Charlemagne, who's on a number of podcasts, Schultz has his own and he go, he has brilliant idiots. And then he guests pods on, you know, other you know, varying levels of, of podcasts. So it's just kind of interesting on the, on the smaller screen or screens, you know, tablets, phones, TV, streaming, YouTube, how people are gaining notoriety when like in a legacy sense, you had to be like on TV, TV mm-hmm. for people to really know who you are or be on radio and people recognize your voice. So it is really, it's really exciting. Uh, it's unfortunate what's going on in Hollywood. Cause obviously the, the studios and the companies, they're, you know, it's all about profits and mm-hmm. actors and people behind the, you know, behind the scene, directors, writers, producers, people, assistant, production assistants, and all those people, they're kind of getting shafted. That kind of, they are getting shafted. So hopefully that gets, gets resolved soon, but, you know, if you can make your own content and, and put it out and, mm-hmm. and people flock to it, you know, there's a way for you to make a... And look at Issa Rae. Make a living with Issa Rae. Shout out to Issa Rae. That's how she did it. Rooting for everybody black. Awkward black girl. Um, 20 minutes. So, yeah, if I ever met... Oh, I meant to say, if I ever met Van Lathan, I'd probably be, like, really ecstatic. And he'd probably be like, And he'd why? be like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, why are you so excited? <laughs> yeah, because um, Van could not hype himself up like that. And I'd be like, so I'm going to pray for you to clear your sinuses. Um... Because that's all I need. It's so disrespectful. It's not. I, I it's have, dis- I have it's genuine disrespectful. concerns. But again, I'm very particular. Like, I can only absorb. I don't know. I think he and Rachel are so polar opposites to me. No, that's what makes them perfect. That I, I still struggle with the two of them hosting a show together. Like, who came up with that? 
but I need to go listen to the very first episode and figure out like what person. But I mean, it's kind of like Gail and uh, Charles Barkley. Like someone at CNN thinks that this is a good idea to pair the two of them together. I am absolutely fascinated to see how that turns out. What, it hasn't what started the, yet, has just, it? I think it's in the. It'll start in the fall. And they're making ridiculous amounts of money for this. Like somebody, I don't know. Somebody's. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, I feel like Van and. Lynn, Heather are just very Rachel. Sorry, it's Rachel Lindsay. Sorry, because Heather other, Lindsay is in a totally different spectrum I know, of. But I always mix up Rachel and Heather because they literally have the same last name. But they're different people. They are in totally different spaces. Mm. Relatively different spaces. Yeah, but I mean, it's very, it's easy if somebody's named Heather Lindsay and someone's named Rachel Lindsay, and you know it's both just, of them in context. It's just disrespectful. It, you're just I'm gonna I'm gonna mix up names. It's I'm disrespectful. Sorry. Um, but. Hope. But yeah, hold the mic a little close. Move the mic a little closer to you. But yeah, Van is—he's—he's he's very knowledgeable man. I'm not going to dispute his intellect. It's just the delivery for me. I'm very—I'm very particular about delivery. I appreciate his delivery because he knows he doesn't take you not right the, to a point. He kind not, of not that delivery builds and teaches the, the, and the, educates the packaging of the delivery. Yeah, well. But I'm glad that that to know that that's your man crush. I didn't say man crush. I said I have a high. I said I have an affinity. Him and Charlemagne and Schultz. Okay. Um, so I'll make to sure a degree. Not, Joe Budden. Joe Budden's sure, hilarious. Um, I'll make sure not to leave all of you in a room together. Oh, stop it, man! If I ever got in a room with them, I'd be, I'd be asking questions. They they kick me out. Joe Budden. Not Budden, but um, I mean Budden's cool. I like Budden. Oh, what's um, that one song? Because I was pump like, me up. Huh? Pump. Pump, pump. Yeah, that's yeah. my only reference to Joe Budden. There's a lot of people. Well, a lot of people who like didn't listen to him in New York. I have I, no other reference to Joe Budden but that. It's a bop. It's, 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 it's a bop. Um, so <laughs> we say all that to say. Thirty minutes in. That was a long banter. It was a long. It was a long banter. Um, before we move on, I do want to call out that wow. I got my hair done at, at my hair appointment. So you all know Sala is my stylist. The real Sala J. The Shout real out. Sala J. Um, she is my stylist. She has been my stylist for the past six You've years. We've been talking so long. I've already finished mine. How did how? Because I haven't finished mine um, for the past six years. And her daughter, who I won't say we watched grow up, but like we've known since she was. Because I never, I never. I've known her since she was sixteen, maybe. Um, Wait, <laughs> how old is she now? Twenty. She'll be twenty. You know her December. for four years. That you think you know you've watched her grow up. I mean, <laughs> in, in, shut up. And main me, the main character syndrome. Let me just talk. I just feel like I've seen. I've her known grow. her. I've her whole life these last four years oh my gosh i have seen her go from essentially a child to adult like she's a woman like we talked about she's a woman a she's teenager to, to an adult yeah. she's she's uh, she's a beautician now she's her own stylist like she has her own business um and she's not even 21 but she did david retwist and she did an amazing job her name's consuela um, an amazing job Shout phenomenal out. job like he has been getting I've been pitching for him to go and get it done by her and I don't know what finally motivated him to do it <laughs> this is probably my favorite retwist that he's had um, so I just wanted to shout out his locks which were started by me um, <laughs> <laughs> and then Consuela who had the availability Friday at 4pm yeah cause I asked her I was like what the week of the week of I was like yo you think I can get it what you want you think I can get it what you want Friday and I text her and she and was she like keeps, yeah. hey, you know what's funny is um, I used to go to a different loctician and um, she's cool Jessica was like I would always be like yeah I think I want to get my hair braided and I would treat it like a haircut. So I'd be like, yeah, it's like Monday. I think, yeah, I think I want to try to get my hair free like, to us on, bro, on Thursday. That's how hair works. And she'd be like, David, she's not going to be available. But every time she would get me in. I think it's because I tip really, really well. But um, so I'm just, you know, I'm a guy. And for so long, when I was growing my locks out, Jessica was doing my, you know, my retwist. So I was just, just whenever she was like, hey, can you free twist me? She's like, all right, let's get the kids to bed. I'll do it. So when... Jessica told me she was no longer accepting well, me as a client. Eight, I was like eight months pregnant. She was like, I've got three heads of little girls to do. I can't afford to do your hair. I got to do my own hair. I was like, all right, whatever. 
So there happened to just be a salon, salon, yeah, mm-hmm. salon, salon down the street from the house. So I was like, I went in there one day. I was like, oh, I just need somebody to do my locks. And so um, I didn't have an appointment, so they just gave me, they sent me to, I guess, who was in, the newest person, and she did, she did a good job. Um, yeah, she did. She and did. and I tip well, like I said. So whenever I, I would always be like, hey, I know it's short notice, but like I know it's Monday, but can you give me a Thursday? She was like, yeah, what time? So I was like, cool. So last week I told Jess, I was like, I don't know what it was either. I was just like, I kind of want to try somebody new just to see if I'm really getting a good experience or am I just getting, do I think it's good because it's the only lactation I've gone to. So I know Sala obviously is, is dope. And Sala is, did your locks a couple yeah, times. Yeah, Sala did my locks once too. And Sala did a really good job. She said it wasn't really, she, I don't, I don't want to. Oh, Sally, come after me. I feel like she said she does locks. She can do locks, but, but she does her sons. Because she, yeah, she used to do her sons. Her, that's not her lane. That's not her her she main. Can, she can get on that her thing. main lane. So um, color blowouts. Is her but lane. I remember Jess had sent me some some Instagram. Uh, that sent me. This is the work of Sally J. That <laughs> sent me uh, Consue- Consue- Consuela Consuela's Instagram a couple of times. I was like, you know, let me see what. Let's see, let's see what she's talking about. So I said, "You think you get me in?" Just set it up. Bet. So we rolled in 15 minutes late. It's <laughs> for, like nine. For our our and dual, I was booking it. Our I dual appointment. One, she was there. And she one was like, thing I don't like messing with Sala's calendar. Sala is very right. like to the. I minute. ain't never seen Jessica move. No, I'm. I I'll be I'll be late for church. I'll be late for doctor's appointment. Look, and listen to that, like. But for Sala J, I'm not. Go- I'm scared to be Jessica late. Jessica got a fear of Sala that I'm she don't scared. even have of I'm God. Scared. And I and I was following Jessica into the um, to the uh, to the room, and all I heard was "girl." <laughs> I'm scared. I'd be. I can't. Was play. About I don't. To, I don't want to. She was gonna was get me. Him. Thankfully, not I was. Not, I would have let it happen. Thankfully, too. I was just getting a blowout. But I was late the week before, and I even told her I was like, I I was too late to even stop at Starbucks with like an apology, like I'm sorry, coffee. Um, I'd let yeah, it. I'd let it happen too. I was scared. Like, I'd have been like, that's what you get for being I'm late. Not here to play, and Solid knows I'm scared of her when I'm late. Um, but um, anyways. But yeah, she did a really good job. She did. Fa- uh, and, fan- and fantastic her, her locks are long and luscious and yeah she did and i will i will so if you're looking for a loctician in the charlotte area give me a shout i will connect you because that's definitely her that's she's talented in many avenues but yeah that is, i'll be i'll be back i know i'll put it that way um so we're at 37 minutes wow um so i had expected today's episode to go a particular way mm-hmm. right because we're recording this on tuesday uh, the episode will air Friday, so we'll be by the time this airs, we'll be at the probably the end of the news cycle for the main. Unless we get another angle, the main, <laughs> the, the main topic. But um, today, news dropped because there was a uh, sentencing today um, of a case. Oh, Linnez. Yeah, Tori. You never heard that story? No. Mm. How I didn't know his name was. <laughs> I don't want to hear no, it. No, we talked about it on the I pod. Wanna... I didn't. I'm going to let you finish your bit. I don't want to. I'm just saying he was sentenced today to 10 years. He was. In prison for shooting Meg the Stallion in the foot in 2020 after leaving a Kylie Jenner party where mm-hmm. he allegedly said, dance, bitch, dance as he shot at her feet. Those Jenner Dashians are always at the root of something. Um, but before but, we get deep into what you're about to say, I one I do like there's one song by by him that I really do like. You know the one song that everyone knows because I don't know that he's been in or made any other songs. Um, but I had only ever seen his name typed out. I, I'd never heard anyone say it. So I was talking to someone. And I was like, Oh yeah. Tori Lemez. <laughs> and they were like, Tori Lanes? And I was like, I don't know who Tori Lanes is, but Tori Lemez shot Meg the Stallion. Um, that's how you know. I'm in my own little silo. I'm really in my own little silo most of the time. I just think, I think you're just not cultured. 
I mean, <laughs> I think it makes perfect sense to assume that his name is Linez. You know what? If I had a son, I'd name that, I'd name that boy Linez Rushing. Just don't do this. Lanny. Nez. Nezzy. I don't do this. That's cute. Nezzy. Um, um, but yeah, he got 10 Whose full name is Daystar Peterson. I'm sorry. Uh, and, his, and, his, and, and, and his father's name is Sunstar. And he's Canadian. I don't know that that matters. I'm just Day giving, Star, the, giving the facts. So and I, I, if I, he has a son, would he be named Moonstar? He does have a son. I don't know what his son I, He does have a child. I don't know what the child's name is. Um, so what's interesting about this, and we haven't really talked about it at any point. In rush vibes although it's been going on for the duration of this mm-hmm. podcast because we saw right? him mm-hmm. oh you were asleep but we saw him in vegas right so you supported somebody who shoots tori liness you shot i you, supported tori you, su- you support i saw tori, tori lanes who i saw who, tori liness who shot at a black have, woman and i might have still and then it. ridiculed her and then sent his uh, social media minions to attack her and harass her online for a couple He's years. He's very little, so his minions so, are just as tiny as him. What's What's interesting about this is there was this whole thing right before um, the trial. Like, did he actually shoot her? Was she actually shot? Because initially, her statement that she gave to police, her being Meg the the stallion, uh, was that she cut her foot on some glass because, in her mind, as she said to Gail. She didn't want to. She's like, you think I don't want to tell the cops that, you know, us black people got a gun, unregistered gun in the car. They're going to shoot all of us up, which looks extreme, but I get it. I get it. Most people can be there. Like you in Beverly Hills. You took you back the stallion. Still. Mm, yeah. I don't, How many no. Beverly Hills cops? I'm just saying. If it's not Axel Foley, they're not going to know who you're Megan leaving, the stallion You're is. literally leaving Kylie Jenner's party. Yeah, but you're not Kylie Jenner. You're Meg the stallion. So again, unless I'm Axel, not saying unless Axel Foley do 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 shows up, they're not going to know who she is. It's just like, she hey, said, why did you need to do the theme? I know who Axel love, Foley is. So in college, that used to be my ringtone, Axel Foley and Pink Panther. So anytime my phone rang, it was one of those two songs. This is concerning um, um, <laughs> that you felt the need to do the melody for me. To, oh, I know who Axel Foley is maybe, like maybe you I'm older than you are. Okay, I mean... And the movie I, was out well before I was born. I really so. rocked with um, Beverly Hills Cop. But again, Beverly Hills Cop is probably the one of the few... Like, the percentage of Beverly Hills police officers who actually wouldn't know who Megan the Stallion is at nighttime I, in the dark. I beg the different Because Meg... Twerking has been around for a while. Meg put it on the map. And I know the it, cops be looking. But it's Beverly Hills. Think about the demographic of police officers in Beverly and that Hills. That's what they want you to think. That's what they want you to think. Anyways. Um... So there was a lot of stuff online. Um, was she really shot because of her initial statement? Mm-hmm. Um, and then when she when she told the truth, um, there was a lot of and you know instead of maybe even just you know kind of working it out privately, apologizing. Tory Lanez kind of just was. He was an ass. He was an ass. Um, and you know, had he not been an ass, probably could have worked this out out of court because she didn't press charges initially. Um, like charges weren't didn't do it. She really protected everybody with her initial statement, mm-hmm. but um, you know, he of the black persisted, woman. and then um, dude actually dropped an album dedicated to refuting, you know, her testimony and the things that she said happened. Um, really didn't show any kind of remorse, remorse, uh, for for his actions. Um, and was being very arrogant. Till today, and he got humble. We're humble. Be humble. Um, Go to jail. You know, and he, but he had over seventy submitted letters of support. Most notably, only seventy. I mean, that's a lot. Is it? It's not even a hundred. Is that really support? <laughs> How many of most, those came from his mama? Most notably, Iggy Azalea. Fancy Iggy Azalea. Iggy doesn't um, count. Asking for leniency that was transformative, not life destroying. I like am not in support of throwing away anyone's <laughs> life if we can give reasonable punishments that are rehabilitative instead. I support prison reform, period. 
she wrote. I mean, wrote. she's Australian, and I'm pretty sure their prison system is different from the... Even though Australia is an island that they essentially used to send prisoners to. So, um, Iggy... I mean, it's Iggy... Just, who's Iggy? Why is she relevant? I mean, she... She sang fancy. That's it. That was a bop. It was. But yeah. that's it. She sang nothing else. I mean, she got a big butt. It's fake. Still, I didn't say it was... If, I didn't say she had a big authentic butt. I said she had a big butt. Didn't I? I'm sorry. I don't count. Don't I, hold the don't hold the XLR because it's gonna it's, fall. No. Okay, the but it's not holding it. That's why I'm holding okay. it up. You hold it from there. Don't hold it from the. I had a hold. I know. Don't hold it from the cable because it creates static in the. Um. Yeah, Iggy Azalea is very irrelevant. Um, I believe she had a baby by a basketball player. Um, Nick Young, right? I don't know these people. Yeah, I think it was Nick Young. I only know like well. The only reason I know only reason I know it was Nick Young is because famously D'Angelo Russell, the current Lakers point guard who used to be a former Lakers point guard, yeah, had recorded Nick Young, allegedly recorded Nick Young saying that he cheated on Iggy, or said something like, "Hey, didn't you say you cheated on Iggy?" And then it kind of turns around and then the the feed drops and that got leaked somehow. So everybody was calling snitch, blah blah blah. And then Nick and Iggy, I think, who were engaged. Broke not up. so much yeah she resurfaced recently with her big old fake butt um again i don't count butts if they're if you have a fake butt and it looks like a fake butt i, I don't count it as a butt um but if you have a fake you can have a fake butt if it looks like a real butt i'll give you butt credibility because that means you went to the effort to making sure that the person who installed your glutes um match them to your hips and your butt um Anyway. Yeah, I don't think it matters <laughs> to people who get... I mean, do men find fake butts attractive? I think one. Do you find fake butts so attractive? So one, because I see, I see what you're doing, um, I will not speak for all men because I'm just a man. Okay. Uh, I think there are fake butts that are attractive, yes, that are nice, uh, but there are some that are like, come on. You're like, you shouldn't have done that. But do you appreciate a fake? Because for me, if I was a man. Um, but you're not. If I was a man. But I mean, I'm a which woman. Is, which who, is easy to say. I'm a woman who finds, who appreciates the beauty of women. So if I see your fake butt, I'm like, it's not even your, like, I can't appreciate it because it's not, like, you didn't work for it, like, through exercise. You paid for it. And it's not, like, I, I don't know. That's just me. Excuse me? Like, if I was, like, I appreciate. Some people lay on the table. And put their life on the line to get those surgeries. I didn't ask them to do that. I'm just saying, like it ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing. I'm not saying it's nothing. I've seen. You could die. I've seen the videos of recovery. Death. I've also seen the bad fake butts where people put Meet. cement and and some of it is Meet just Jesus. It's, it's not reasonable. I just feel like if I were a man, I wouldn't appreciate a fake butt as much because it's like it's not, it's sub, it's not, it's not natural substance. Like if I was gripping it, it's. I'm not gripping natural flesh. I'm I'm gripping artificial flesh. Again, I'm not it's a not man. Skin? No, I'm talking about the substance under the skin. Because you're mm. gripping. You're not just gripping skin. You're you're gripping substance. So at least for me, I if I'm I'm not a man. If I was a man, I wouldn't appreciate a fake butt. Like give me a real butt. Because I want to I want to see God's work. I want to feel God's work wow. in you. God's work. By gripping. You enunciate it. Work. Work. <laughs> but that's me. Again, I, 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 I'm not look. a man. But as a woman, when I look, I'm, I have a, a, an element of disappointment. When so I'm, let me ask you this. Why do you put on makeup? As an enhancer. Why do you need it? It's not, God, it's not the look, natural I look, mean, I look put on deodorant. God gave you. Why do you dye your hair? I put on deodorant. Why you dye your hair? I mean, you, for a while you weren't because you was putting on that natural, natural stuff. <laughs> and you might as well not put on deodorant. David, it was not that bad. Natural was deodorant. Bad on you, it was not uh, that bad on natural me. Natural deodorant is a scam. And I would like drench myself Look, in Natural spray. deodorant is a scam. Go ahead and get the aluminum. No. The natural deodorant is cancer. horrible. Natural deodorant um, is horrible. I mean, makeup is an enhancer for special occasions. Okay, and, and a BBL is, an, is enhancing a butt. It's already, you already have, but everybody has a butt. I take off my enhancement. You can take a BBL out. And, and almost take, die again? 
You can I, check it out. Again, I'm not speaking for the men who appreciate a BBL. Yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. needs to appreciate it. Um, and if you have yes, a no. BBL, let your BBL the be con- appreciated. I'm just speaking about myself, my con- own personal preferences. I pr- appreciate a natural butt. It's a, but it's a, I would hope you would admit it's a double standard because the concept is the same. It's right? Not. Because you're putting makeup on to enhance. Okay, mm-hmm. sure. But you've seen how stark the difference is in some people when they have makeup on and, and I when they don't. That. I appreciate that. And when they don't. See, I, I just appreciate a natural woman. Okay. So again, I'm not a man, but I appreciate a natural. So if a woman's wearing makeup, I I want I for me. But makeup's not natural. It's not. It is. No, it's not. Makeup's been around since time immemorial. But it's not natural. BBLs have not. Cleopatra was putting mm, on makeup. The, 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 Esther literally soaked in perfume for six months. So makeup doesn't like come makeup from your pores. Can be removed. So can a BBL. And there are layers of makeup. Like, I can put on makeup and still look like What about like your me. hair? Is your hair naturally the color it is now? I mean, in the sun. I mean, anytime somebody says, I mean. If I'm in the sun, em. if I'm in the you sun long em. enough, I can bleach okay. my hair. So, and this isn't even about Aegis. I don't know why we spent not, 15 minutes I, on I her. I guess I just, I, and, her and, fake butt is just BBLs. too fake for me. So it bothers um, me. I'm sorry. No offense to those of you who have BBLs. Because somebody loves you in your BBL. But he got 10, yeah. Ten years. I mean, and you remember that ruckus his dad caused uh, last year after look, the. If Sunstar don't go orbit somewhere else, <laughs> Rock Nation will crumble. Um, he actually apologized to the judge. Um, judge wasn't having it, obviously. But um, did he do it in front of the judge? He did yeah, it outside. He, well, he had to be removed from the courtroom because he uh, lunged at the uh, the prosecution. I mean, I and they took him out. I didn't really care for this whole thing. I hope Meg doesn't release a statement because it's 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 she it's above her. she released she a statement through the prosecution during, um, I think, final arguments or whatever they but did. Not during sentences. It was before. No. I mean, after was, this sentence. No, after this, I, I don't believe Meg said anything, but she doesn't need to. No, I feel she like doesn't. I feel like this she's, is she's vindicated. Yeah, this is, this is vindication. But I mean, how old is he? Thirty something. He'll be out when he's forty. And you know they're going to appeal he's it. Only thirty one. Thirty one. They'll they'll Ooh, appeal it. He looks like he's been through some stuff. They'll they'll appeal. Well, apparently there's there's some alcoholism. There's some mental allegedly. There's some mental stuff going uh, on. His mother died at, at a young age for him. He was eleven. I thought his a mother rare, was at the. Oh, that was blood. his stepmother. Probably he had a rare blood uh, disease. Uh, she died. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, that doesn't justify shooting someone in the foot. No, it it absolutely does not. Um, I mean, it's always interesting these things come out mm-hmm. at the eleventh hour. And he still gets deported, right after the ten he, years. I don't know. They've because he's Canadian. He is Canadian. Hey, hey. Uh, I don't know that he'll be deported, but it is possible. So I think he will be. I think because um, he wasn't a U.S. citizen. So unless while he's in prison, he marries a U.S. citizen that might allow him to stay. But I'm pretty sure after he commences his sentence and he's released, he will be immediately deported to Canada. Child of an immigrant, I'd be knowing. Yeah, I couldn't care less Um, where in terms of whether he's deported or not. It doesn't doesn't matter. I'm just stating immigration fact. Appreciate that. It's context. I did not have. I almost became an immigration lawyer. I wanted to, but I, I, I knew that it would take too much heart to be an immigration lawyer. It's too mm-hmm. much heartache. Anyway, sorry. Um, no, it's just the big news, big news of today. Mm-hmm. Um, I expected it to be the other thing, but do you this, think 10 years is reasonable? I, I think whatever the judge determined is, is sufficient. Because there's someone else. Because he could have, I think it, 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 he had a maximum of 22. And he got 10. Prosecution asked for 13. Um, I mean, you have to think, I, I don't know, I'm not in this professionally. I'm not in, in the, the law or, or legal space. Um, obviously, though, I don't think there was an intent to kill. He was still reckless. Oh, absolutely. Um, he did strike her, be it directly or um, ricochet fragments, whatever, and then everything that happened after. Um, everything that happened after the way he behaved on social media what and album. If they put him, Suge Knight, and R. Kelly in the same prison. That album would be fire. I wouldn't listen to it, but it would be fire. 
it'd be like everyone fo- this is the remix to ignition it'd be like hot it'd be ridiculous i wouldn't listen again i wouldn't listen to it but i'm saying it's a possibility if they put them all in the same prison because suge Knight, knight's in upstate new york so he'd produce um where's r kelly is he in prison he is in prison where he at we gotta figure out what prison he's in and then you throw tori Lanez in there fire so he, there was an intent to kill um you just <laughs> and uh do y'all see what i have to do it was it was definitely reckless and and his behavior after everything happened was not was not of that of someone who um is trying to be propped up like a model man or citizen as they tried to do I it mean, at the end of up. at the end of the tr- at the end of you know right before sentencing so I mean, un- unregistered gun you're shooting it out in the open you're firing at somebody you never know what can happen i mean i think and the fact that you know he had an opportunity to take a plea deal he didn't i wonder what the plea deal was <laughs> uh I, I think 10 years is look it's not you, my problem, not my conviction. Well, not only that, but I mean, choices choices have, have consequences. Yeah, he and when 20. you make certain choices, you take what you take control of what those consequences are yeah. out of your own hands. That's true. So far be it for me to sit here and say, oh, well, you know, he didn't kill her and blah, blah, blah. He should, this first offense, blah, blah. Like, it's not for me to say. Um, we have people in professions to make those determinations we have a, a system set up where people can can state their cases and you know let the chips fall where they may when it comes to to juries so i don't know i mean he shot out a, he shot out a woman um a black woman at that and thought it was thought it was sweet thought it was a game mm-hmm and then ridiculed her and 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 did all these things. Made an album refuting all of her claims for her, for for a couple couple her. of years. Slut shamed her. Yeah, he was. Um, he was maybe, he got, maybe maybe he got off easy. Uh, he did. I do appreciate that because I know he has a child, uh, at least one. Um, you know, thirty one, you get out. Forty one, maybe good behavior. He gets out like thirty eight. Um, I don't know how good behavior works. I just. I'm not in the legal system. I'll have to consult with a criminal attorney. But um, depending on the age of the child now, I mean, he still kind of has an opportunity to be a part of that child's life. But, I mean, you have to think about, and that's the thing about making poor decisions. In the moment that you make the poor decision, you don't recognize the ripple effect that that's going to have generationally. Now you have another kid who is, you have a kid who's not going to be raised and you know with both parents available to them similar to him unfortunately his mother died but like you have these repercussions that are going to affect not just you and i think that's a problem with a lot of people you we make these decisions in the moment and i mean no one naturally takes the time to think about oh if i make this decision now how is this going to play out in five years but now you have to think this whole this child whether this child is one years old or five years old, 10 years, 10 years of not having a parent is a bulk of your childhood that you're, you're missing out that that person doesn't get to impact you. You don't get to consult them. You don't get that visual example. And I don't know that he would have been the best example of, I don't know that this child's a male, female, but I don't know that he would have been the best example of manhood, but I mean, you've you've tarnished, you know, a f- another generation, and now that person's going to grow up, and whatever effects this had is now going to, you know, affect future relationships for them and future children for them. So, I mean, it's just it's a big ripple effect. So it's unfortunate either way, but hopefully, while he's in there, he can bulk up because that's what you do when you go to prison, and you know, he he comes out and he's a better man. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll be Muslim. Maybe he'll be Christian. You know who knows maybe like i'm just i'm pulling out all the prison stereotypes you know on the yard i think he's gonna drop an album i really do i feel it in my spirit but um hopefully he comes out a better man hopefully he realizes that he messed up big time 
and doesn't continue to take the victim role. And I hope Meg is able to move on from this too. But them knees still intact, so I think she's doing good. I think a lot of people owe Meg an apology. A lot of people. And um, she's not going to get it. Black women hardly get the apologies they deserve. A lot of people owe an apology. Um, but you mentioned, and I mentioned, the spirit of Tony Lane's. <laughs> Tony Lanes. Now, first it was Tori Lanez. I gotta get one of them. That was Tony. That was Tony Lanes. What was that? I'm sure something. I think it was the 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 stuff that keeps the food cold. I put it in the sink and it melted. So, yo, this could be it. Um, the last episode of Rush Vibes. Who we leaving the kids to? Omar, Amanda, come on over, get you. Um, we mentioned ripple effects. Ripple. You know, obviously, you use that. Um, metaphorically, right? Ripple effects. Um, you know, most people's uh, understanding of ripples when you throw something in the water. I'm so mad because I got to use the bathroom so bad. Um, you know, you like I used to skip rocks. You would see the ripples. Um. Or coincidentally, if you happen to throw somebody in water, there could be ripple effects. Um, which brings us to <laughs> um, what is being called a number of things. Um, an event that took place this weekend uh, that captured social media on Sunday. <laughs> Even into today. Um, Emphasis and just, on I've beauty got, in I've got every some, shade. I've got some names here that this thing is being called. Fade in the water. Fade in the water. Lift every voice and swing. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a, there was, there was, an, there was an actor in this event, not a literal swing. actor, but someone who was involved, who a bl young black man who swam from a ferry to a, to, to land. They're calling him Jim Michael Phelps. Swing low, sweet folding chair. <laughs> Augustinth, which is probably my favorite, which might actually be the title of this episode. It can't be Augustinth. It Augustinth. happened on like the 4th. Augustinth. But it's August. The 6th. Boston Swing Party. But it happened in Montgomery, so I don't know how I feel about that one. And then uh, August 5th, with the uh, the thing, the carrot is better than January six. So, what we're referring to they're not is, putting them on the save is the fight um, in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, Wasn't there a march in Montgomery? What else happened in Montgomery? So, what's interesting is the fight occurred along the um, the Alabama River on. Which I didn't on, know was a thing. On a dock where Sitting enslaved ens enslaved right. Americans arrived by steamboat to be sold at the it's center of town. This is reparations. I Before we even get into this, I just want everyone to know, if you have any questions on where I stand, I stand with all the black people. So this is interesting because... All the black people are justified. Absolutely. Every Other, single I mean, melanated well, let me, person. Let me take it back. The brother with a chair... Like it's like okay, like <laughs> no, you ain't have to like the lady on the ground. Like she's already, no. she, she just, already got stomped nope. out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You ain't had to hit no. her with the chair. Nope. Mm -mm. I because Massa would no. have continued with the whip. I she deserved it. I maintain that that she was she deserved it. <laughs> that was excessive. No, I'm not saying it wasn't I watched, funny. I watched that video like four I'm times. And every time I jumped, it was like I forgot the chair. I'm not coming. saying it wasn't funny. It was. But it was excessive. Um, so there was a fight there was a <laughs> on a dock in Montgomery, the Alabama. The, bay. Um, the benefit of recording this on Tuesday is that now, like actual publications have caught wind of it. it was not on just GMA so, three, not just it social was on media, our local news. But I was like, in meetings, so I couldn't hear what they said. I'm so hurt. So, um. 
It's called Riverfront Park. Um, and this was an actual slave auction location. Legitimate steam got them off the steamboat and then took them to center town back in the day and, and auctioned them off so that this is happening in the exact same location where it is literally black versus white, white people being the initial aggressors, the instigators, and black people coming to the aid of a black co captain who was basically just trying to get them to move their pontoon so that the, the big boat, ferry, whatever you want to call could it, get could get the passengers could dock. off. Could dock. Um, and they tried to they tried to phone them, you know, while they were further out, and they were met with gestures, and the people were probably just drunk, right? Like these people, do they get on boats? They get drunk, right? Mm-hmm. This is what they do. I'm um, not, I don't. I, so the so the, 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 the co captain, who's the black guy who tossed tossed <laughs> the hat, Unk. which is the new bat symbol. He 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 took a little a small boat and a little sixteen year old assistant with him to the to the dock and tried to move the pontoon himself and that's when the video really starts is when the the people who own the, the pontoon white people came and they confronted him and there was a little back and forth for a while you could see the co-captain was agitated like saying yo just move the fucking boat mm-hmm. that's all you had to do and um and then they just they and just attacked the entitlement of privilege is a dangerous thing. they literally just attacked like they jumped like Please. one guy jumped him and then another guy came from my screen and then the next thing you know there were like three four people on top of them and but then Just whoever was recording this did a fascinating th- whoever's because there was multiple people did from act, you're multiple right. angles there's like and every like four hours a new angle surfaces there's like 10 angles of this thing um but the the main one somebody zooms out and then you can see the first black guy there's a there's a black guy above sort of like on the ramp that comes Ooh, down to the dock i'm surprised he's he he's jump. he's running to come down and he, he comes in and he tries to break it up he's more uh, peaceful, mm-hmm. but then you see there was a young brother who was on the boat where the the vantage point from where the recording was jumped into the water. That's he's the swam re- across mm-hmm. because what I didn't know, but what I found out after reading the Times article is that they were they're all like sh- uh, crew members essentially. So they were looking out for their boy. So they were looking out for the guy. So he swam across, pulls himself up on the dock, looking for smoke, like looking for it. He brought the smoke. Like I'm ready. I was here. I stood with him. If he runs for political office, he's got and my And so, vote. once the ferry docks, right? Because white people, they try to go back to the, they try to go back to the pontoon, <laughs> try to go back to the boat, like, low. It was we're, over. Like, you know what? We're, we're done. All those crew members came off that <laughs> and they you, came down and they was pulling the like pants. They, they were pulling look. the pants up. They had, the, they were making the gestures like, like they was like, yo, oh, square oh. up. They approached the the white people who were back on their boat. They asked them questions. Somebody gets slapped, like pimp slap, and then and then it's on. It was messed. It's, I saw a ripped Crocs. It is. Do you know the quality of Crocs? <laughs> they can be ripped. Crocs are. I mean, nurses working Crocs. It is. It was. It is a fine moment in American history that I it am really is. so glad I got you to know, witness. They won't teach kids about this in Florida, but I pray it it makes it in to other history books I, that I, this was the moment. The, it was a beautiful. I want someone to go back in history and look at August 5th, 18 something and see what happened, what happened then day. so that we can make a comparison to what Yo, happened in 2023. People was the getting ancestors are rejoicing. And I think this is the danger of the audacity of misguided privilege. Yo. You cannot assume that your privilege entitles you to act a fool and that's going to shield you from what took place. I, I don't s- think they expected. And that that's the problem. Yeah. That's, that's the audacity of entitled privilege is that you don't think you think that because you're privileged no one's going to step to you they got stepped to and stomped on yeah they ass beat they did expeditiously as, as joe it. clark would have said the last video i was watching they were playing knuck if you buck to it and it was it it, it worked yeah so there uh, the fight spills out Mm-hmm. Onto the to the actual Are dock. We still calling it a fight. This the was... beat down. The beat down spills out into the uh, into the dock. Um, I'm w- women getting it. The, the men getting it. Like everybody can. If you're on the dock, you getting you can it. Get some too. You getting it. Somebody got beat and then thrown into the water. <laughs> <laughs> the ripple effects, right? Um, 
the cops are there, but they're not really doing anything One of the at cops this point. Was a black female, and I knew she. Was and she white. had her taser out, but she was she like was, so nah. cavalier about mm-hmm. it. Like she knows them people. She was like, mm-hmm. "You got it." I'm gonna let them get a couple licks in. You know, cops. It wasn't until the chair control. came out that the cops actually like, "All right, we gotta like actually do do work now." That's because they knew um, the cameras were on them. But you have one of some of the white people jumping in water to get away from the beatdowns. Like, <laughs> it's like, like, oh, now you gonna wade in the water? <laughs> Uh, jumped in there with uh, with our ancestors, like it, you know, Michael B. Jordan said though <laughs> the ancestors. It was beautiful. It was um, it was hilarious, and I was you know me. I'm always late to this. So stuff. the 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 melee reaches a point where it's we it's, it a it's, melee. it's back toward the the ferry, and um, the 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 two main pieces are older black man and, and a white dude. I think one of the owners of the boat, the pontoon. Um, they were locked in a, in a struggle. Um, there's some black people coming in. They're like punching the white dude in the head. Um, the white dude's wife comes in, tries to help the couple women. They're like, nah, nah honey. They snatch her down. Aside, she's Stacey. getting, she's getting stomped. Um, and then out of nowhere, not the hero we deserve, <laughs> but the hero we needed in the moment comes out of nowhere with this folding chair <laughs> and is yo <laughs> it was not even 12 hours later some yo. dude had a tattoo of the chair is, is like straight out of the uh, glory days of WWE just beating this white dude in the head with the chair right was it a dude or a woman well he hit the he hit the white guy in the head cause he was locked in the struggle so he was, he was hitting I don't him. think I've seen that angle and then he turned I've missed an angle. There was then there was the white the woman who was sitting on the ground. She had been she had been stomped out mm-hmm. by some black women, and then you see him. She was just she was right. I, she's I think she was just in his line of, like wrong place, wrong time. She was in his line of vision. He still has some some animosity built up. Took the chair, bam, smacked her in the head, and then that's when the cops like they, they actually handcuffed him and, and got him to the ground. So, um. It this was, was amazing. This was it, if if our children and, weren't here, I, don't, I would show it. To but them. I don't know what's better the the beat down, right? Augustinth or the unity. Everything that that happened on social media afterward, it, like the skits, the memes, the tweets, it's the whole somebody thing. photoshopped like there was the black dude who photoshopped himself like looking up at the camera leaning onto a gate while every all the fighting's going on behind him when the dude is swinging the chair um but and this is this is you know um quick not a true diver uh divergence but a small divergence like like threads just came out right instagram's twitter competitor it's cool and long term i think it's it's where i'd like to be like mainly on social media but moments like this, you need Twitter. You need Twitter or you X, do. whatever the hell it's called. Um, um, you can't. It's, I, it's it's unmatched. Segue. We're gonna come back. I'm still not used to this random X app on my phone. I'm like, what is this X? Why am I getting X notifications? Like, what porn app do I have on my phone that I'm getting notifications? I am very concerned about this. But this whole thing, if we're gonna, you know, just intellectually boil it down, the it is the epitome of black unity and black unity is such a beautiful thing where (laughs) Harriet Tubman Tubman black unity is such when it when executed correctly black unity is an amazing thing where it's like we are not going to stand for this and this is not Donald Trump's America so we can fight we could fight back in any America but it was just perfect what I really need Al Green's internet to do. Is, Al Gore. No. We gotta stay with the black. Okay. So Al Green's internet. The inter- okay. Is I need someone to take the initiative and compile all the different angles into a docu-series for me. So that I can make sure. Because I don't think I saw the wom- the man getting hit with the chair. I saw the woman getting hit with the chair to the knuck if you buck background. I did not see the man. There, there's just I can't for those of us who are just black Twitter adjacent or black X adjacent. Um, I just need someone to do this for me. Compile all the different angles 
into one so that I can watch. And, and the right person will be able to piece it that the timing will work that you'll be able to see. And I know someone's working on it, but it was amazing. It, it, it was, it, this might be one of my favorite weeks in American history. Um, and I, I stand with, I, I'm pulling an Issa Rae as always, and I'm standing with everyone black. I think everyone black is vindicated because it was self-defense. I gotta admit, um, lift every voice and swing. It, it, that does it for me. I, I would I, sing I, it. I, I like that. Lift every voice and swing. Um, <coughs> yeah, I mean, it was great. It was a it was amazing. And and and, and if nothing else, on a, on a broader scale, it was it was it was nice to see, <laughs> not nice to see, but if, if the scuffle is going to happen, mm-hmm. right? It was nice to see that nobody pulled out a gun. Yeah. Dudes, yo. <coughs> we're going to scrap. We're going to scrap. You got your set of hands, and it's going to do what it do. Nobody's going to reach out for a gun. It's like Pop said on Friday. You win some, you lose some. But you live. Look, some ass You live to be humiliated that's, on social media that's the really next what day. It was. Some ass was so, I hope some people got fired from their I appreciate job. that. But also, I really, really enjoy, <coughs> from a cultural <coughs> From a cultural standpoint, this black man who was just trying to do his job, do his job, got jumped, and other black men who one who knew him obviously the brother who swam across the the river, but the other bystanders who who came to his aid, it was the hat. Um, didn't didn't hesitate. That hat throw is going to become an Olympic sport. I don't know about all that. It was. I mean, he said, "You try to go, let's go." <laughs> it, it, he I literally mean, paused <laughs> from fighting so that he could throw his hat in the air, which is wild to me. But um, and didn't really do that great of a job. He did it. He was horrible. Yeah, he got. But, but I think in his spirit, he knew someone had his back, and they showed up, and they showed out. Yeah, I'm, 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 pr- I'm a fan of. I'm proud to be a black American of getting your your ass whipped when you when act it, when it's called for when it's. Absolutely called for. Yeah, it's called I, I'm, for. I'm only my only concern is people getting charges based off of this footage that is on social media, like someone pulling it together and then being yeah. like, "You need a charge. You need a charge." But I still stand that this was self defense. I'm really curious how this is going because Alabama is busy. We just had what Carly. And now we have this. Carl was from Alabama, Alabama wasn't she? Alabama is bi- I'm like, Alabama has one more thing. We got one more thing for Alabama. Carly Russell. Mm-hmm. So what, she's North Alabama? Carly, Carly Smollier, excuse me. <laughs> so I, I, I'm curious. Alabama is, they're, they're doing some stuff. They're on the, they're on the, the map for all the, well, for the right and wrong reason, I guess. There's something in the water. Um, but I'm Yeah, curious. white folk. <laughs> <laughs> touche, touche. Oh, life over in the water. I am very curious how this is going to play out. Is is are we just going to drop charges? Are people going to get fired? Like what? What is happening? But I mean, yeah. if, if you take away the comical part of it and the humor and the entertainment, what really? I mean, Alabama is still one of those places that are very much so, you know, deep south. A lot of people are entitled. Lots um, of small towns. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of these, this, the fight was essentially, st- in my opinion, you've got, you know, drunk white men well, who the, are entitled. The thing that, who, that's unfortunate is that a lot of those, the mayor said those people aren't even from, from town. They're there from out of town. So like northern Alabama? I don't know. They're just, Alabama, they're just not from, they where, from wherever, wherever the fight, whatever city or town whatever the fight was in they're not from there i mean just because they're from a suburb doesn't mean they're not alabamans if that's the they might be alabamans word. but they, they're not they went to auburn and they're doing some kind of tailgate uh, we're not going to discredit that what all i'm saying is that this that the, the bottom they weren't from line, the, they weren't from they're not from montgomery put it that way according to the mayor okay so where are they from selma i don't know i'm just saying that what it boils down to is you have these entitled drunk white men who unfortunately saw a black man doing his job and they thought the audacity of this black man to touch what's mine 
let me go handle it. And they didn't expect that half the population of that riverboat ferry was going to come and take them out. So let this be a lesson to you in your little racist meetings. Okay, calm there down. There are secret racist meetings. Calm, calm down. I know there are secret racist meetings. Um, calm down. But no, I think I think all of the black people are justified in this. And my only disappointment, well, you know what? I was going to say my only disappointment is that any of the white people who were on the ferry didn't jump in the fight, but they're, they would have been confused. They, they got a stray, they got so, strays. <laughs> like, it's, it's such a fine line. Like, do I jump in and help because I recognize where I can help? Like, where do I be an ally and where do I just be a witness? So, yeah, they would have been like, oh, you're white. We're just going to assume and fight you, too. And so I, I understand you having to stay because one of the angles, there was a white guy. And I was like, how come you ain't jumping into this fight? But he probably, you know, foresight. He was like, I'm going to get my butt kicked. Like, what am I going to do? Say I'm one of you. That's not how this war is working right now. But no, it was amazing. It's an amazing moment in American history. Very entertaining. So Alabama couple more weeks left what you got what's left we got missing persons that aren't missing and now we got brawls at the river what's left what could be i'm curious what what's going to play out next i'm here for it though (laughs) yeah i don't know but this was great it was this gave me i wish i had caught it this gave me a lot. As it peaked. I think I saw it and Saturday I didn't night. realize what it was going to I, turn I, into. I saw it Saturday night and I was like, man, this thing's about to, thing's about to blow you up. You knew it? You had that for I saw it and I was just like, I think I saw it in like the shade you, room or you can one tell. of those. You can tell. And I was just like, what is this fight? And I just kept going. Yeah. I, it, it was, there was, there were too many different videos of it. Oh, see, I only um, saw the one. And it was too... It was too it, perfect. It was, it was too perfect of, a, of an event the unison it was beautiful yeah it was it was nice it was beautiful um but unfortunate still that it all happened Mm -hmm. but um since it did it's nice that it happened the way that it did so um if you haven't seen it please do yourself the favor go find it go watch it i'm sure i i will have put a few different (laughs) clips of of the various videos and the run it It really was people were comparing it to the avengers well there was like the the, (laughs) the rings yeah and there was like a seven minute extended video somebody was like what is this this?" an extended version Someone was like what is this the snyder cut of like i'd pay to see it i just need someone to compile it all someone is going to wait for it someone's going to compile it all and i'm gonna watch it (laughs) it might be but i will watch it um but I'm curious what's going to happen. Who's going to lose their job? Who not from not from the ferry company? Who like who is going to be zoomed in? Because that's the thing. That's the next. Well, I tell you step. what, that brother with that brother with the chair better have a lawyer. But black. Oh, you know, Ben Crump going to show up for somebody. But black internet. Mm, ben the black internet. Al Green's internet. When they they will zoom it's in. It's Al Gore. No, in this instance, it's Al Green. Uh, it's a different Al. I need a black Al. Nah. Or fine. Al Sharpton's internet. Um, so in love. Someone is going to zoom in on the faces of every single person who was in, every single white person who was involved. And they're going to send their picture to the HR rep at GE, at Electrolux, whatever other companies they work Electrolux. for. So if you're looking for a job, just give it, give it. Give it a few days and see what companies these people get fired from because those requisitions are going to be open. But that's exactly what's going to happen. Someone is going to do their due diligence and be like, this is Stacy Pepperville and she lives in, you know, Boomtown, Alabama, and she works for this company okay. and she's going to lose her job. Okay. This is what happens. This is what happens because black FBI agents who go, who go rogue are the best ones. Okay, thank you for that. You're welcome. That that perspective. Stacy Pepperville, um, Boomer Alabama. So we're at an hour and twenty four minutes. So okay. we again. Good because I didn't choose the bathroom. We have we have failed. <laughs> we, to it was keep, never it was never keep, our goal to keep Look fresh vibes at a uh, girls are great. No. Um, well, anyway, uh, it was never our goal we, to be under have, an hour. So uh, if you need an, the, if you need a podcast that is under an hour, don't listen to this to one. To the to the crew. I, was, I, 
I apologize. I try to keep a girl under 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 wraps, but I don't. I was never. I was unsuccessful. I don't think I ever responded to any of their comments to the length of the podcast because I, so I I never intended to make it shorter. I apologize. I did my just know that I did my best. He did not. I did my absolute best. Well, we bantered for like literally half an hour, yeah. which if you did your best, you would have regulated that better. You're right. I failed. I failed. You trusted me, and I failed you. D- Ain't nobody concerned. We'll, we'll do All better. Right, wrap this up because I got to use the bath. We'll do better next week. Um, and I, one thing I keep meaning to do is. Oh my God. Is, you don't uh, come running along. I need to pee. Many people know during the podcast where they can find us. Y'all, Spotify. I'm going to, burst. I'm going to use a bath. No. <laughs> Sit. No. Wow. Wow. Okay. So um, you can find us on YouTube, obviously, where you're watching this, Apple, Spotify. Um, if you've been watching and you haven't yet, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you get notified when we drop new episodes. Um, most of the time, Jessica won't leave, especially while I'm trying to wrap the show up because we're getting ready to end anyway. Um, but tonight was just a rare occasion, I guess. So um, we'll be back next week. Uh, hope you all had a uh, had a safe had a safe week. Have a good weekend. Check y'all out. We appreciate you guys for rocking with us. Thanks. Shout out to all our new subscribers. Um, don't forget to share this out as we continue to try to grow the Five Tribe. And uh, that's it. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Going for some growing pains. Yeah. Nothing but some growing pains. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I done came way too far. Can't stop me now. I done came way too far. can stop me now. I done came way too fucking stop me now. I done came way too fucking stop me now. Stop me now. Stop me now. Yeah. I-